and you don't know where you are with adverts now. One minute they're whispering, the next they're shouting at us. There's loads of whispering adverts around at the moment. Have you noticed? There's one for a car advert. They come on, they go like, ah, auto motion. <laughs> what? <laughs> auto motion. <laughs> Fuck, where'd they record this? Down the library? <laughs> There's another one. Zoom, zoom. It's a fucking car advert trying to sell you a car. It's like some bloke down the pub trying to sell you a dodgy one, isn't it? Psst. Do you want to buy a car? Hey, <laughs> Keep your fucking noise down! <laughs> There's loads of whispering adverts. There's another one. There's another one. Gonorrhea. <laughs> Why do they whisper that? Gonorrhea. <laughs> I know, because that's how the doctor's going to tell you. I'm afraid you've got gonorrhea. Because <laughs> there's that other one, chlamydia. See, now, chlamydia, that just sounds like a posh name to me. No, I've got this vision of this woman looking out of these French stores going, Oh, chlamydia! <laughs> chlamydia, your tea's ready! <laughs> you know, there's some diseased old frump in the garden going, OK, I'm on my way. <laughs> Is syphilis out there with you? You don't know your <laughs> adverts. You know, one minute of the whisper in the next. Hi, my name's Barry Scott. <laughs> Who the fuck is that bloke? Shout and the dirt is gone. <laughs> this is a cleaning product. They should wash out his ears because he can't fucking hear anything. <laughs> you know, he must have really, he must have really fucking nervous kids at home. That bloke, you know. He reads them a bedtime story at night. Once upon a time! <laughs> there was a dirty toilet! <laughs> and I was watching, I was watching that McDonald's, I was watching a McDonald's advert today. Ronald McDonald, the clown fella you see on the adverts, does he open a company? Because his name's Ronald McDonald. I can't imagine what he's like at board meetings, you know? So, boss, what's the plan for next year? I don't know, fuck it! <laughs> <laughs> well, he can't have a go at somebody for not taking work seriously, you know? Who put that bucket of water on top of my door? It was me. Do it again! <laughs> <laughs> you don't know where you are. And they actually advertise, they actually advertise TV on the TV. <laughs> Come in, buy this TV. Hold on a minute, if I needed a TV, how the fuck can I wash your advert? <laughs> and have you noticed they keep advertising, they keep advertising couches on the TV. What is going on? Look at that, every day, it's on every day. Come to DFS and get your couch. It's on every day. Surely everyone's got a couch by now, haven't they? <laughs> you know, some of you run out of it at the end of the fucking week, is it? <laughs> you know, you don't go in your lounge, go to sit down and go like, uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> One family left, one family without a couch, all standing in their lounge, completely exhausted, watching that advert gun. You know what? They'll come in fucking handy, one of them. <laughs> like when I was a kid, we lived in this council flat, and when my mum and dad bought a couch, they looked upon it as a major investment. Oh, yeah. Every, every month, your mum would have her hand down the back of that couch looking for loose change. She'd be like, oh, 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 thrumps. Oh, anyone that walked into our flat and they were chinking, fucking sit down. <laughs> Put your feet up, relax. <laughs> oh, yeah, that couch paid out more interest than Northern Rock. <laughs> <laughs>